24 hours ago, the Sacramento Kings completed an improbable comeback against the Golden State Warriors from down 24 to win and punch their ticket to the knockout round of the NBA in-season tournament. Tonight, they nearly had to do the same against the Los Angeles Clippers, except this time, there's no beam in that Sacramento night sky. There's no such thing as an easy night in the Pacific Division. The Los Angeles Clippers are loaded with talent, including the recently acquired James Harden, who is starting to settle in nicely with his new squad. 17 of his 24 points on the night came in the first quarter. He set the tone for the Clippers, who took full advantage of the energy that the Kings expended in last night's comeback victory over the Golden State Warriors. Los Angeles shot 53% from the field and hit 14 total threes on the night. Offensively, it was an ugly game for Sacramento, with the exception of De'Aaron Fox. Despite playing 40 minutes last night, Fox tallied his eighth 40-point game of his career and second of the season. However, no other Kings scored more than 15 points. The Kings trailed by as many as 25 tonight, but cut it down to 13 with around six minutes remaining in the game. But Kawhi Leonard slammed the door shut with his 34 points on 14 of 18 shooting. Kings lose 131 to 117, falling to 10 and 7 on the season. After the game, Sasha Vizenkov and De'Aaron Fox talked about the lack of energy after last night's game and how they handle tough losses. Our team don't search for excuses because like the back to back are for every team. Uh, but it was obvious that uh, emotionally we're empty after the whole comeback game yesterday. You have to have, you know, short term memory. You have to with games like this, obviously you want to know what you what you can do better, but um, obviously when you don't get the result that you want or if you get blown out, you just you have to let it go because you're not able to really just mourn a loss like this. The NBA is constantly going. It's a revolving door of games. You can't dwell on it. You gotta, you gotta let it go. Because if you don't, then it can continue to stockpile in a five, six, seven losses in a row. And, and when that happens in a season, that it's hard to turn around. So not the night that the Kings were hoping for. They fall to 0-2 on second night of back-to-backs. Fatigue still getting to this team despite it being the early parts of the season. The good news is they do have a couple of days rest. The bad news is their next game here inside the Golden 1 Center, they'll be hosting the defending champion Denver Nuggets. And then not long after that, on Monday, they welcome in the New Orleans Pelicans for their quarterfinal NBA in-season tournament action. So the season rolls on like the Aaron Fox said there's no time to linger on the past. We'll see how this Kings team bounces back. From the Golden One Center, Matt George, ABC 10 Sports.